I'm Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. I am sharing with you some thinking and application questions from previous test paper on limits. So here is a test paper of my bright student Shruti, who has almost scored 98% marks. Now the question number seven is an excellent question which we are going to discuss in this video. The question here is. A quadratic function is given by f of x equals to x square plus bx plus c, where b and c are constants, f of 1 is equal to 2, and the slope of the tangent at x equals to 2 is 12. Find the value of b and c. Use limits in your solution. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now we are given the function which is f of x equals to x square plus bx plus c, right? At 1, that is f of 1, we are given the value of the function, which is 2. So if I substitute 1 here, I get 1 plus b plus c, and this value is 2, right? So we have 2 equals to 1 plus b plus c, or you can say 2 minus 1 is b plus c. So we get 1 is equal to b plus c. So that becomes one of the conditions. That is how b and c are related. Now the second condition given to us is about the tangent, slope of the tangent line. Now we can use difference quotient method to find the second equation. So slope 10, 12, 12 is the slope, is basically the limiting factor of when h approaches 0, we are considering two points, one very close to 2, one point is of course 2, right? So, so that is f of uh, 2 plus h minus f of 2 right, over h. So that gives you slope of a tangent line. Now here, well, let's substitute this 2 plus h in the equation. So we get limit h approaches 0. 2 plus h whole square plus b times 2 plus h plus c minus f of 2. Substituting 2, we get 2 square plus 2b plus c, right? Over h. So we get 12 equals to limit h approaches 0. Let's expand this. We get 4 plus 4 h plus h square plus 2 b plus b h plus c minus 4 minus 2 b minus c over h. So these three terms will always cancel. So let's cancel them first. 4 with 4. So you are, you are left with terms which have h in it, right? So this is always true. So we limit h approaches 0. So we have 4h plus h square plus bh left over h. So h is common. So I could write this as limit h approaches 0. Factoring out h, we get 4 plus h square plus b over h. So now we can cancel h and h. And so what we get here is 12 equals to a limit h approaches 0. 4 plus h square plus plus b, right? So from here we get 12 is equals to 4 plus b since h approaches 0 4 plus b or we get 12 minus 4 is equals to b which is 8 so we get the value of b as 8 substituting 8 here so this becomes our second equation substituting 8 in 1 so we get 1 equals to 8 plus c or 1 minus 8 is c so we minus 7 becomes the value 
for C, right? So we get the value of both B and C. So that means the function is f of x equals to x squared, b is 8, right, plus 8x, and c is minus 7. So that becomes the function. So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.